So here is this week's Walmart haul. Um, I went in this week and I found some great deals. I probably overspent a bit, but that's the way that it goes. All right, first thing, Kraft White American Singles. I bought some at Sam's Club in my previous haul. I bought some pepperoni sandwich slices and some salami sandwich slices so that he can make his own spicy Italian from home. And he said that he won't make them because he needs the white American cheese, not the yellow. So I decided to get this for him. It's still cheaper than buying from Subway. All right, that was $4.98. Then behind it, we have the smoked string cheese. I had a couple, they're very, very good. I wish I would have bought more. They had a whole bunker of clearance cheese like this. That was $2, originally $5.94. So a really great deal on that. Then we have this twist string cheese. Looks like mozzarella and added color, it looks like. For $1.50 was $2.84. Then we have this sliced smoke flavored provolone. $2 was $4.22. Then I had in the garden center, I had gotten three bags of this paver sand, $5.24. I have some low spots in my weed fabric where the water just puddles and then of course mud accumulates. So I don't think that my attempt at filling it in, which you'll see in a future garden video, I don't think that that'll work. So I got the sand and hopefully this will work and hopefully I got enough. I got a total of three bags, $5.24 each. Then we ran out of mustard in the fridge and the one in the pantry was the last one. Um, I like getting these smaller bottles because of that, because they seem to take forever to go through, um, but we were all out. Those were 60 cents each. That will probably be a year's worth for us. Then I thought I would try this Sweet Baby Ray's, no sugar added. I flip flop between no sugar added barbecue sauce and the regular barbecue sauce. I thought I'd give Sweet Baby Ray's a try. $3.22. I used up the last coffee filter in a pack so I'm just replacing that one. I probably still, this will bring me up to a year's worth. I'm using the reusable coffee filter more and more. So I probably have more than a year's worth of coffee filters. But I'm just filling that, topping it up. Never know what might happen. And it is, seems to be a condiment week as you'll see. Because here we have mayo. I think... That I opened up the last or second to last one. These are really tiny jars, just like the mustard, really tiny. That way they keep fresher in the fridge since it takes us longer to use them up. Those were $2.12 each. I think I just have one more in the pantry, but for a summer barbecue, if I decide to make a salad, a pasta salad, or something like that. It'll use up one of these whole containers doing that. Oh, I got two of those just to make sure that we have enough. On with the condiments. I got five bottles of ketchup. They were $1.08 each. My son asked where the mustard was since we ran out. And I noticed that he hasn't been letting me know that the ketchup has... He's been using up ketchup. So... This is a stock up. We're probably back up to close to a year's worth of ketchup. Um, it's one of those things that I don't think that I'll try to make on my own unless everything goes to heck. Then I'll try to make it, of course. But at $1.08 each, it's 
not that expensive and I do prefer the smaller 24 ounce bottles because they take up less room in the fridge otherwise there have been times when my son was a little bit younger that he we could have definitely used a number 10 can with a pump on the top and he would have went through one of those in probably less than a month um, but that takes up a lot of room in the fridge, so I'd rather just go this route. Then also, while I was in there looking at the condiments, I noticed that we were had two bottles of branch, which meant that we were one bottle down. I start to stock up more in the spring and summer months because we don't eat it that much in the winter time. But yeah, so I decided to stock that one back up, bring it up to quite a few months worth. Then we have the, so the ketchup was $1.08, the ranch $1.97. Then behind here we have the caramel macchiato creamer. I think that I needed just one, but then I wasn't sure if I replaced one one time. So $3.13 each on those and I should have close to a year's worth on those. Let's see. All right, then the original baked beans, $1.67. looks like save only 55 cents, and that's because the can isn't too far gone. Oh, it looks like a dent in the bottom, but not that bad. Sometimes when my son likes baked beans, I can usually have just a couple of spoonfuls of those. I was on a quest to make this quality of baked beans at home canning them, but I, I've just never been successful. They always seem to be mushy. All right, then we have three cans of this Tropical Gold Pineapple Chunks, $1.97 each. I really do like these. They do have a nice rich pineapple flavor. The Great Value brand seems really pale and it doesn't have much flavor, so i just rather have these and it's a healthier snack for sure. Although these are a bit sweeter, but it's not added sugar, so whatever. So yeah, I got three of those. Then we have apple juice back there. My son asked for apple juice, which he's not asked for any sort of juice in a very long time, so that was a bit odd. $1.98. All right, then powdered sugar. Looks like two pounds of that powdered sugar for $2.22. Finally made my son's birthday cake about a week and a half late. <laughs> but I used up the last of the powdered sugar and actually the frosting, it didn't need that much. I just dumped in what I had and it was a little bit too sweet, but oh well. So I'm replacing the powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is something that I rarely use and honestly I would not figure out, out a way of avoiding using it if I didn't have it and I couldn't get it anymore. So it's fine. That's why I don't, I used up my last one and I'm replacing my last one. And that's all that I have is right here. And it's not something that I stock up on because I don't use it all that often. Then we have my favorite Febreze scent, the Ember. It is Mandarin Amber Lava. I have the plugs in this, $3.97. Then we have the eggs, um, back to the plain old white eggs, although the brown eggs, I got to do a price comparison because the brown eggs do have darker yolks, and for a long time they were the cheapest ones, so may go back to the brown eggs, I'm not sure. I'll have to do that price comparison, $2.28. All right, then we have garlic bread. I got that for 59 cents, save $1.39. Um, I'm going to heat that up in a moment and I will be having that. We have some leftover chicken alfredo 
in the fridge and so we'll have garlic bread with it that'll be good i really have that unless i find it on clearance then hiding back here is my son's whole milk two dollars 99 cents my son's two bottles of twist up one dollar each and because the Great value brand sodas are all on sale. I decided to get Mountain Lightning. Save about 84, 89 cents each by getting these. I find that the flavor is a little bit different, but the carbonation seems to be not as strong and doesn't last as long as the Mellow Yellow. Mountain Dew is a little bit better, but still the carbonation isn't as strong as mellow yellow and then this is not as strong so if i have to dump these when i hate flat soda if i have to dump usually i dump them when they're about here unless i drank it really fast uh, but if i have to dump it when it's here i'm still saving a little bit of money it's not that big of a deal so i've got the mountain lightning then these have been spotty on being in stock so i decided to get these ten dollars 97 cents i should just quit buying them but i did have someone stop over this week to my house and they said oh your house smells nice so i go well thank you then we have plates these are paper plates paper not plastic not styrofoam paper biodegrades better and it's summertime so both of us eat all of our meals at home and I just found in the past what we would use paper plates year round but there was one day I loaded up the dishwasher in the morning and then before supper time there were five plates in the sink and four of them were my son's so I had some on hand for emergencies and I just decided we're just going to do this. All right, then I got my son a shirt. This is the shirt, patriotic shirt. I seem to last few years pick him up one of these and then he likes to wear it year round. This one looks like the old Air Corps emblem to me, which he likes that kind of things and that was for six dollars 98 cents and so today we have a grand total of 116 dollars and 85 cents catch you next time